has a tough decision in front of him. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, out of the blue corner, wearing red and white, officially weighing 142 pounds, professional record, 52 fights, 47 victories, including 35 knockouts, with three defeats and two even. Ladies and gentlemen, the former flyweight world champion, former junior featherweight world champion, former super featherweight world champion and current lightweight champion of the world from General Santos City, the fighting pride of the Philippines and number one pound for pound fighter in the world, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Out of the red corner, wearing burgundy and gray, official weight, 145 pounds. Since capturing Olympic gold, his professional record stands at 44 fights. 39 victories, including 30 knockouts with five defeats and 10 world titles. Ladies and gentlemen, the former junior lightweight, former lightweight, former super lightweight, former two-time welterweight, former two-time junior middleweight, and former middleweight champion of the world, the Golden Boy from East LA, Oscar De La Hoya. The Filipino crowd chanting for Pacquiao as he moved toward the center of the ring even before the opening bell. Which styles will emerge in the early rounds? Is De La Hoya here to box? It's a straight left hand and a right hook from Pacquiao and seems intent on retaliating, but already Pacquiao shows you that he wants to move in, move out quickly. Move in, land a flurry, move back out, out of Deloia's range. And the quickness of Pacquiao, of Deloia's guard. Deloia lands a left hook, but Pacquiao gets away. He punched, but nothing landed too much for the most part. Right here, you see what surprised me and has been prevalent most effective punch. The little left hand lead of Manny's is he shoot right between the. Pacquiao's learning curve has accelerated through the middle portion of his career. There was a moment when he was, even though dangerous and destructive, largely a one note two. Jab, jab, straight left hand. His ability to fashion the first hand of him by coming straight up the middle with the left hand lead. He has reddened Delaware's nose from top to bottom with that punch. You heard Freddie Roach telling Manny Pacquiao between rounds, as soon as you feel your back touch the ropes, move to the side and... The head movement defensively, the straight left hand up the middle, he has carved out an edge in the first couple rounds against the longer crawler, more than half of his power shots. This is a big problem for Oscar De La Hoya, who has landed only six of 56 attempted jabs, according to CompuBox. De La Hoya hasn't really gotten his offense going, and he hasn't solved Pacquiao's game yet. Even though uh, Manny is slightly winning, I think for him they almost picked up any weight. I mean, he's just taller, but no, nowhere near where we say stronger or as big as he should be. Boxing annoys and irritates Oscar, he says, and he is very. 29. Absolutely, absolutely. I and mean, right now you're going you know, to Oscar. I know he's into this trainer room meet or whatever he's doing and things, but uh, to me he just doesn't look that strong when he does. You know. Wild punches. He's up with Dan. Deloia seems shocked and not ready for the left-hand lead of Manny Pacquiao. Harold Addy scored through three. That gives him three to nothing, 30 to 27, Manny Pacquiao. Jim, what he's doing is he's turning the guy. Look, right jab, right jab, left hand. At least get Manny preoccupied. Manny can land a big right hand, but he's not jabbing him. And well, he, needs to faint. he needs to faint it sometimes and then jab in order to make Manny move and then jab him after he moves. The right hand has never been a super destructive punch for Deloitte. 
and not Helen to speed. Oscar said he needed this fight to convince himself whether he could keep fighting. He's got eight more rounds to find out whether he is still a pro. Pacquiao, 32 out of 47. 68% connect percentage. Oscar De La Hoya, eight out of 20. And now you begin to wonder, somewhere in the fight, the tired, unbeaten. Low blow by Pacquiao. After he strafed De La Hoya with a right hand upstairs. What mountain to climb to get back into this fight? Well, if Judge Pacquiao rallies down the stretch. Manny Pacquiao is showing it's not insurmountable. Copy box so numbers far. in the fifth round. Pac-Man, Pac-Man, uh, Manny Pacquiao, known as Pac-Man, threw 86 punches. De La Hoya threw 65. Pacquiao had a 27 to 8 edge in Power Connects. And prevent Pacquiao from countering him as effectively as he has. So it out. And De La Hoya looked scuffed up after fighting Steve Forbes in May. And fighting Manny Pacquiao is something entirely different from fighting Steve Forbes. You ever see once again Manny Pacquiao shooting a straight left hand right down the pipe? Direct, and that's the kind of punch that's doing the damage to Oscar De La Hoya. Well, we're halfway through the fight. And some observers are still amazed at what they're seeing, although each round has gone by with repetitious regularity. Be the Mayorga fight because I was not that respectful ever of Mayorga, but he hasn't knocked out many of the top Eli fighters in a long time. Yeah, Ricardo Mayorga. Ricardo Mayorga is no elite fighter in my view. No. He's the most willing target in the sport. Yes. He landed on De La Hoya in a single round of his career, and virtually all of his fights had been counted by CompuBox. Right here you see Pacquiao landing punch after punch, and it's not so much just the way he's landing them. The body language and position of De La Hoya's body is that of a man that's defeated. It's, it's he it's, it's he is cringing. cringing in the face of Pacquiao's unstoppable onslaught. CompuBox numbers in the seventh round. De La Hoya, 7 of 24, and he threw 10 of those punches in the last 30 seconds of the round. Pacquiao, 47 of 103, including 45 of 76 power shots. Who is the most exciting little fighter in the world? Little. Big he little looks big fighter. Tonight. Pacquiao is fighting tonight in the welterweight division. The champion. Tony Weeks has a tough decision in front of him. There's a lot of glory and a lot of money. If you, if you keep taking punches, I'm stopping the fight. Okay? We're going to stop it. Better we stop it. That's, it's our decision, Oscar. It's a decision that we have to take. There's no reason to continue with this. He's too fast. Are you okay? You're with that? You agree? Yes.